today is Holy Saturday in the life of the church. Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that as the crucified body of your Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so we may await with him the coming of the third day and raise with him to newness of life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we hear these words from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 27, verse 62 to 66. Next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, remember how th that imposter said, while he was still alive, after three days I will rise again. Therefore, order the sepulchre to be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples go and steal him away, and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, you have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went and made the sepulchre secure by sealing the stone and setting a guard. Sometimes in our lives, we find ourselves in deep, dark places. As our Lord Jesus found himself today in the midst of death and it is difficult for us as individuals and as communities to deal with this aspect of our lives and yet it is part of our reality as is the bright sunshine that we are exposed to every now and then for in life there is a duality, light and darkness, up and down, far and near. And although that duality speaks, human beings also experience the murderous and the marvelous, along with all of the messy things in between. We are apt to say, in light of that, that life is not only black and white, that many of us live our lives in the gray areas, struggling for truth. It is perhaps that is where Jesus finds himself and we as a church find ourselves. We have completed the celebrations for Good Friday. And we have walked away from the cross, having sealed Jesus into the tomb. What is it in our lives that we need to let go of and let it stay in the dark places and let it stay behind us? In our past so that we can forge ahead for the church contemplates today its participation as an institution in racism classism discrimination and all of the other things and as an institutional church we have done that are sinful and against the will and grace of God. As we exit Holy Saturday, may we experience the hope and joy of the resurrection. My name is Otis Samuel Nichols, Dean and Rector of St. George's Cathedral, Kingston, St. Vincent. I wish you a blessed Easter and may God continue to give you hope, even in the midst of the difficulties. Amen.